Hey guys, just Jasper here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to upgrade any build within Minecraft. Now I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into this using a few simple steps. So firstly, let's take a look at this build. This is by no means a bad build, in fact I have lots of friends that build like this. It is a great starting point. However, there are several aspects that could be improved. This over here is the exact same build, except with two major differences. Firstly, a different style roof, and secondly, the support struts to help give it depth. The roof is an organic shape, which I will go into more detail just in a second, and this depth helps to create a complexity which you don't see in just flat builds. It makes it more interesting to look at. So over here, we have several different variants of struts. We have this right here, which is just a regular fence. We have a regular pillar of logs, and then this transitions into thicker and thicker pillars. In a Minecraft build, you want to feel like your build is structurally sound. Even if there is no physics in Minecraft, it can make it a lot easier to look at when there are struts in it, which help it look more stable. Now this also helps to create curves. As you can see here, this starts to create a circle, which we never see in Minecraft. In a, in a game that is comprised completely of square objects and blocks, shapes like this can really be satisfactory for any person viewing a build to look at. This is why Arches and curves are so useful in Minecraft. If we take a look back over here, we can see this triangular, triangular roof is not as satisfying to look at as this slightly curved roof. Curves in Minecraft help give a sense of complexity and also generally just look quite good. However, on a small scale, we can't often get curves. So if we take a look over at this house right here, which is just an upgraded version of this house over here. I've tried incorporating some curves into this build that I didn't incorporate into that build. So as you can see, with just some trapdoors, some stairs, I've created this little archway on each of these different uh, windows. This small technique allowed this build to look so much better than it did before. Now, it is really easy to replicate this. If I go over to here, which is the exact same as this, and we put down a wall of struts, I can easily create the same effect. If you already know how to do this just from looking at it, you can skip ahead. Now, all I have to do is place my trapdoors, my staircases, and then I have a curve. This is so much more visually stimulating than that build over there. Now, that's not to say that that's not a good build. This is just a minor improvement that you can make to it. Now that we understand that we can use depth and organic shapes within a build, this means that we can build things like this. This is, might look complicated at first, but it is made using all of the same concepts that we have just talked about over here. It is used archways for organic shapes along with these circles at the top and then also using the pillars and archways and this secondary level as a level of depth to add complexity to the build. If we look at what this build actually is, we are left with this. This is all this build is except with these extra elements. We have used organic shapes for the roof, for the walls, and then we have also used depth to help it look a lot better. This is all this build is. So just by using these two simple methods, we can make a house go from this to this. That is why organic shapes and depth are some of the most important aspects of building in Minecraft. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.